Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. Okay, uh, Big Rami, uh, seen some really impressive update pictures of him. Uh, but there's a couple of things going on, well, more than just a couple of things going on with his physique that not many people are really talking about. Uh, Giles, Tiger Thomas, uh, MD, uh, has talked about it. Nick Trujilli, Bodybuilding and BS, and Xavier Wills from Desktop Bodybuilding. Uh, we got an issue with, uh, Rami's shoulders. You know, uh, Giles, Tiger Thomas, dubbed it shoulder gate. Uh, he talked about Hardy and Rami. Everybody was making a big deal with uh, Hardy, and the judges were telling him that uh, you got to take care of this, we're going to mark it down. But nobody seemed to be talking about Rami, who, if you look at his shoulders here, you can definitely see there's something that is not 100% right about it. Now, as uh, as with Hadi, I don't think there's any uh, SEOs being used, sight enhancement oils. Uh, I think uh, a preference of uh, Delt shots is is what they do, uh, and they're just hitting the same spot over and over again, and it's causing uh, an issue with the shoulders. That's probably the most likely uh, reason why. Now, I've talked about it uh also another video Nick Trujilli pointed it out also Rami's back if you look at his lower back here you, you can compare uh, 2013 to 2020 look at the muscles in the lower back look how far uh, and then Look at the 2013, look at the 2020. You can see there was muscle present in 2013 that there's not present in 2020. There's some sort of atrophy going on. And it's noticeable uh, in back shots, I think, especially the back double biceps. And we also got an issue with his legs now. Uh, you can see it. It appears to be uh, in a lower part of the outer quad. And it's on both legs. On one side, you see it more uh, simply because of the lighting. The other side is uh, shadowed, so you don't see, see it as much. But it's there. It's like uh, little pieces of muscle were gouged out of the lower part of the quad. Uh, the back, I don't know what's... I have a, a theory that it's somehow connected to... It's what happens and somehow connected to people that have a higher tie-in with their lats. I've seen it with a few other bodybuilders before, and they had, they, they tend to have a higher tie-in with the lats, to, and that's purely genetic. Uh, I've noticed that as they age, as they go for, uh, continue co competing, that they tend to lose some of that over there. Uh, it's just my uh, guess, but I really 
um, I'm really not sure. And with the with the squads, I really don't know what's going on with the with what would cause these little these little sections to be gouged out. That's what it appears. It it seems like there's some sort of atrophy, maybe due to some nerve damage. Maybe you're shooting is uh, doing a lot of shooting into his quads also. Uh, I've heard Dave Palumbo talk about how shooting into the quads is a recipe for disaster. Uh, he's explaining why. Uh, you go check out his channel and search the video. And you, it's a pretty good video. Uh, maybe it has something to do with that. And talking about shooting his legs, if you look at his legs from the beginning of his, his career in 2013, and you look at them now, yes, they're bigger. But it's not just, they're not just bigger. Uh, the shape has changed also. You can put size onto your body. You can build muscle. But you can't change the shape of your muscle. Because that's, uh, that's genetics. It's the way your muscles are tied in and everything. That's purely genetic. But if you look at 20, 2013, you look at now, not only are they bigger, uh the shape has changed. Uh, maybe he's, maybe that's from injecting in the quads. I don't know. Now, what I'm getting to is everybody's saying that Rami needs to bring it this year. And judging by these update picks, it looks like he's, he means business. But even if Rami brings it, uh, that's not a shoe in that he's uh, is most likely he probably would win, but it's not a shoe in. Uh, we got some really hungry and very dangerous uh, competitors nipping at his heels. Any way you look at it, he's going to be challenge. Now, if it comes down to these, comes down to the fine details, if they were making such a, a ado about hot his shoulders, they need to be taking around the shoulders in consider, consideration. Then you got the back, and now you got this issue with the legs. There seems to be pieces missing. So, uh, if it comes down to the final details, uh, moral of this video is, yes, Rami looks good, but he doesn't have uh, a cakewalk. And contrary to what some might think, He's not a guaranteed win this year. Okay, I uh, spoke my mind over here. You might agree or disagree with what I've said. Either way, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. By all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified also. If you go to the description box, there are links there. One link is on our Facebook Muscle Central page. <clears throat> Any questions, you can go there, DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, there are links to Species Nutrition and Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links. Go to both those websites. Check out all their great products. Once again, it's Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.